Hi everybody, I'm Ewan McTeer from La Liga Lowdown and welcome along to this week's 60 second standoff debate. Now, before we get into it, let me briefly explain that if you want to see more of this kind of content, you'll find it here on our YouTube channel. If you subscribe and if you enable those notifications, you'll find out everything that we're up to. Over 250 of you have already done that. And surely that many people can't be wrong. So, let's get into it. Let me tell you what we're going to debate this week. So this week I'll be up against Alex Johnson and as always it's a simple yes or no question. We each have 60 seconds to try to convince you guys of our argument and then afterwards it's over to you. You can comment below and let us know who you think made the better points. So this week's question is were Real Sofiedad right to sack Eusebio? I'll be arguing that no they weren't but first Alex is going to try to convince you that yes they were. So Alex, take it away. Thank you Ewan. And I'm sorry, because this is going to be a no-brainer. I need 60 seconds on the clock. And my time starts now. For me, I'm surprised it took this long for Real Sociedad to make the change. The place had needed a different voice and someone with fresh ideas for a while now. There's also a pattern with Isubi that we've seen at previous clubs that when things start to get tough, he gets stuck in this one mindset of doing the same things over and over again. And that's what we've seen here. La Real have been highly inconsistent throughout the season in terms of performances, in terms of results. But the same cannot be said about lineups and tactics. It's been the same match after match. More so, he haven't been able to motivate his players. We have seen glimpses of what players like Janosai, Odrio Sola and Oyar Sabal can do, but he haven't been able to get the best out of them consistently. More so, the season is already over for Real Sociedad. It's a perfect time to put in the beating coach, get rid of the bad atmosphere, the pressure from the fans, find some harmony and get ready for the new season. So for me, without a doubt, Real Sociedad made the right decision. He had to go. All the best to Isubio. He won't be out for, for work for long. Okay, I hear you Alex, but let me explain why I think Real Sociedad were mistaken to sack Eusebio. I get 60 seconds as well, and they start now. Okay, let me paint the picture. There's fire and brimstone around Real Sociedad. Disaster has struck. David Zuratuza is weeping in the corner. And Asia Yaramendi is fed up with his name being mispronounced by his coach. That's right, this coach was David Moyes and this is the scene he left behind him. The club needed an exorcism and Eusebio provided it. He took this team to 6th place playing good football in his first full post-Moyes season. That's incredible. OK, this season hasn't been great but there are a number of other reasons for that. Number 1. It's really hard to make your home stadium a fortress when one side of it is missing due to construction work. Number 2. They've been so unlucky with injuries, they've had more than Wiley Coyote falling off a cliff. And number three, they've been so stingy in the transfer market. They made a profit last summer, and in January, Inigo Martinez left for Bilbao. Eusebio's made some mistakes too, but I think he's kept this mostly together and prevented it from being even worse. I think he deserved another shot at it next season. I hear you, Ewan. I hear you. And I do not agree with you. That's just not enough at a club like Real Sociedad. So that's what we think. But now it's over to you. What do you think? Who got it right? Did Real Sociedad do right in getting rid of Asubio? Please put your comments in the section below of this video. And tomorrow we're going to take the conversation to Twitter, where we're going to turn this into a poll. So find us, follow us, and chat with us on Twitter. We're at La Liga Lowdown. And don't forget to cast your vote in that poll. Plus, a new mini podcast is out. David went to Barcelona to meet with Diego and they reflected on Spain's performance against Germany. So for all details for Apple Podcasts and Android, you can find in the description below. And finally, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to put, push that notification button so you don't miss out on any of our great content. Have a great week and see you very soon.